The sample complexity of a machine learning algorithm represents the number of training samples that it needs in order to successfully learn a target function. More precisely, the sample complexity is the number of training samples that we need to supply to the algorithm, so that the function returned by the algorithm is within an arbitrarily small error of the best possible function, with probability arbitrarily close to 1. There are two variants of sample complexity. The weak variant fixes a particular input-output distribution. The strong variant takes the worst case sample complexity over all input output distributions. The no free lunch theorem, discussed below, proves that, in general, the strong sample complexity is infinite, i.e., that there is no algorithm that can learn the globally optimal target function using a finite number of training samples. However, if we are only interested in a particular class of target functions e.g., only linear functions then the sample complexity is finite, and it depends linearly on the VC dimension on the class of target functions. <laughs> <laughs> Definition Let x display style x be a space which we call the input space and y display style y be a space which we call the output space and let z display style z denote the product x times y display style x times y for example in the setting of binary classification x display style x is typically a finite dimensional vector space and y display style y is the set minus 1 1 Display style minus one one. Fix a hypothesis space H. Display style math call H. A functions H x y. Display style H colon x to y. A learning algorithm over H. Display style math call H is a computable map from Z display style Z caret asterisk to H display style math call H. In other words, it is an algorithm that takes as input a finite sequence of training samples and outputs a function from X. Display style x to y. Display style y. Typical learning algorithms include empirical risk minimization, without or with Tikhonov regularization. Fix a loss function L O S S Y times Y R zero display style loss colon y times y to math bound R underscore G E Q zero. For example, the square loss L O S S Y Y equals Y minus y 2 display style loss y y equals y y caret 2 for a given distribution rho display style rho on x times y display style x times y the expected risk of a hypothesis a function 
H element of H display style H in math call H is E H equals E Rho L O S S H X Y equals X times Y L O S S H X Y D Rho X Y Display style math call E H equals math bound E underscore row loss H X Y equals int underscore X times Y loss H X Y D Rho X Y In our setting, we have H equals A L G S N Display style H equals A L G S underscore N where A L G Display style A L G is a learning algorithm and S N equals X one Y one X N Y N Rho N Display style S underscore N equals X underscore one Y underscore one L dots X underscore N Y underscore N sim row carrot N is a sequence of vectors which are all drawn independently from Row Display style row Define the optimal risk set H N equals A L G S N Display style H underscore N equals A L G S underscore N for each N display style N note that H N display style H underscore N is a random variable and depends on the random variable S N display style S underscore N which is drawn from the distribution Rho N display style row caret N the algorithm a l G display style a l G is called consistent if e H n display style math call e H underscore n Probabilistically converges to E H display style math call E underscore math call H carrot asterisk. In other words, for all epsilon delta greater than zero, there exists a positive integer n such that for all n n, we have a sample complexity of A L G. Display style ALG is then the minimum n for which this holds as a function of rho, epsilon, and delta. We write the sample complexity as n rho e delta. Display style n rho epsilon delta. To emphasize that this value of n depends on rho, epsilon, and delta. If 
a l g display style a l g is not consistent then we set n rho e delta equals infinity display style n rho epsilon delta equals inf t if there exists an algorithm for which n rho e delta display style n rho epsilon delta is finite then we say that the hypothesis space h display style math call h is learnable in words the sample complexity n rho e delta display style n rho epsilon delta defines the rate of consistency of the algorithm given a desired accuracy epsilon and confidence delta one needs to sample n rho e delta display style n rho epsilon delta data points to guarantee that the risk of the output function is within epsilon of the best possible with probability at least 1 delta in probabilistically approximately correct pack learning one is concerned with whether the sample complexity is polynomial that is whether n rho e delta display style n rho epsilon delta is bounded by a polynomial in 1 epsilon and 1 delta if n rho e delta display style n rho epsilon delta is polynomial for some learning algorithm then one says that the hypothesis space h display style math call h is pack learnable Note that this is a stronger notion than being learnable. Topic: <laughs> Unrestricted hypothesis space, infinite sample complexity. One can ask whether there exists a learning algorithm so that the sample complexity is finite in the strong sense, that is, there is a bound on the number of samples needed so that the algorithm can learn any distribution over the input-output space with a specified target error. More formally, one asks whether there exists a learning algorithm a l g display style alg such that for all epsilon delta greater than 0 there exists a positive integer n such that for all nn we have where h n equals a l g s n Display style h underscore n equals a l g s underscore n with s n equals x one y one x n y n row n display style s underscore n equals x underscore one y underscore one l dots x underscore n y underscore n sim row carrot n as above. The no free lunch theorem says that without restrictions on the hypothesis space h display style math call h this is not the case, i.e., there always exist «bad» distributions for which the sample complexity is arbitrarily large, thus, in order to make statements about the rate of convergence of the quantity, one must either constrain the space of probability distributions 
display style row e.g. via a parametric approach or constrain the space of hypotheses h display style math call h as in distribution free approaches topic restricted hypothesis space finite sample complexity The latter approach leads to concepts such as VC dimension and Rademacher complexity which control the complexity of the space H display style mathcal H A smaller hypothesis space introduces more bias into the inference process meaning that E H display style math call e underscore math call h caret asterisk may be greater than the best possible risk in a larger space however by restricting the complexity of the hypothesis space it becomes possible for an algorithm to produce more uniformly consistent functions this trade off leads to the concept of regularization. It is a theorem from VC theory that the following three statements are equivalent for a hypothesis space H, 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 H is pack learnable. The VC dimension of H Display style math call h is finite. H display style math call h is a uniform glavenko cantelli class. This gives a way to prove that certain hypothesis spaces are pack learnable and, by extension, learnable. Topic: An example of a pack learnable hypothesis space. Let x topic road y minus one one and let h display style math call h be the space of affine functions on x that is functions of the form x w x plus B display style X maps to Langle W X wrangle plus B for some W element of R D B element of R Display style W in math bound R carrot D B in math bound R. This is the linear classification with offset learning problem. Now, note that four coplanar points in a square cannot be shattered by any affine function, since no affine function can be positive on two diagonally opposite vertices and negative on the remaining two. Thus, the VC dimension of H Display style math call H is D plus one display style D plus one in particular finite. It follows by the above characterization of pack learnable classes that H display style math call H is pack learnable and by extension learnable topic <laughs> sample complexity bounds suppose h display style math call h is a class of binary functions functions to 0 1 then h Display style math call h is e delta display style epsilon delta pack learnable with a sample of size where 
v c h display style vc math call h is the vc dimension of h display style math call h moreover any e delta display style epsilon delta pack learning algorithm for h display style math call h must have sample complexity thus the sample complexity is a linear function of the vc dimension of the hypothesis space suppose h display style math call h is a class of real valued functions with range in 0 t then h display style math call h is e delta display style epsilon delta pack learnable with a sample of size where p d h display style p d math call h is Pollard's pseudo dimension of h display style math call h topic other settings in addition to the supervised learning setting sample complexity is relevant to semi supervised learning problems including active learning where the algorithm can ask for labels to specifically chosen inputs in order to reduce the cost of obtaining many labels the concept of sample complexity also shows up in reinforcement learning, online learning, and unsupervised algorithms, e.g. for dictionary learning. <laughs> <laughs> 